Daniel and Jeremy have known each other for many years. So when Daniel asked Jeremy and his previous girlfriend to babysit his daughter, they agreed. But that night changed everything. You see, Daniel's daughter told him that while she was staying with Jeremy, he touched her inappropriately. Take a look. I'm feeling angry about the whole situation because I've been going through this for a year and a half now, and it's time to put it to bed. I'm being accused of touching a little girl. The situation is very hard because I look at the little girl like family. I've called the detectives numerous times to have this taken care of, and they won't. I've asked them time and time and time and time again, when can I take this lie detector? When can I get the lie detector? And I keep getting pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. I'm over it. I want to settle it, and I want it done now. Crystal is my girlfriend. We got together six months ago. I've known her for over 20 years. And with these accusations going on, it's going to tear us apart. You one night asked him to watch your daughter. No, sir. Well, the mother of my child and me are split up for the last four years. And she asked her friend to babysit without me knowing. And then your daughter comes to you and says what? My daughter calls her mother, or calls at 5 in the morning, stating that the girlfriend left for work because she worked certain hours of the night or whatnot. And basically, she left for work. He asked her, asked her to come to his bed when she's laying in the front room with like five kids staying the night. He gets in the bed after she goes in there. He's an adult. She followed, you know, what she was supposed to do, not thinking of anything. Uh, she says that he gets in the bed, lays down behind her, tries to cuddle her in, go in her pants, and so she acts like she's sleeping, like brushes them off, like gets up, nervous, or before she gets up, she told, she said, Dad, I felt his thing on my back. This is my daughter. My daughter's never lied to me, ever, in my life. You know damn well. You know damn well that this didn't happen, Man, bro. you know what the did. Yeah. You know what no, you no. did, bro. Listen. You know, we're going to find out. We're going to yeah, find we gonna out. Yeah, we're going to find out. And I'm going to tell you right now, dude. You say I, I, I didn't do this because she didn't you want attention? You said it on the video. Listen, yes, bro, you just stood up and be the dad from get-go. You a chomo, bro. You want to, yeah. You're Prove it. We, Prove we're it. about to. Dude. We're about to. Yeah. Don't worry. Why are you so angry at him? Because he's setting up here lying. This guy I'm right here. My daughter, this guy bro. said right here. You got me this dude has never been in his child's life. Never. You he hardly through, ever you through my is around his child. He constantly pushes her off on other family members because they let other social things get in the way of their being a father and a mother. But doesn't it concern you that a child is saying that you molested her? Yeah, it does concern me. Especially when I've sat here and I've been in this child's life since before. She was born. Since her mother was 14, 15 years old. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. My yes, daughter's I have. petrified of you, bro. Yeah, she's petrified, petrified. of you as well. So, I mean, let's tell a real kid. story here. Who does that? Who does you. that? Where are you from? Like, Amazon or something? <laughs> like, who does yeah. that? You're a chomo, bro. And yeah. you're running around the neighborhood thinking you tough like you're not tough, bro. How did yeah. you find out you're being accused of this? Oh, because his ex-girlfriend decided she was going to post stuff on social the media. The police showed up to she, your house. She, the police showed up to the house. My ex-girlfriend, uh, one of my ex-girlfriends called me and was explaining the situation. She said, don't come here because the police are here. That drove me to the house faster. So I could confront Lies. her you talk to the police? and Lies. the police. Talk I've talked to the police on numerous occasions. He's lying. I've talked to the detective. He's lying. I talked to the detective four times a month so for why the first didn't you six, seven months, months that it happened. And then a month... Two months, you know, I call him every time. I call. So they to never arrested dude. you? S arrested you? No, sir. They didn't never charge you? No, he sir. Ran. He ever been accused of this before, Child Molestation? No, sir. Okay. Your girlfriend is here. She made us a tape. Let's watch that now. I just want to know that I'm protecting my kids and that I'm not dating the monster and not knowing if I'm doing the right thing. A little over a year ago. I started talking to Jeremy. We've dated in the past years ago, so we've grew up together, we know each other. There was some accusations posted on Facebook. I questioned Jeremy on, um, he told me they were not true. This is important to me because I have kids and two of them are girls. I just wanna know that I'm being the right mother 
and not having them around somebody that's capable of doing these harsh things. I want to protect my kids and not fail them as mother. Daniel, he has contacted the police. We've talked no, to the hasn't. detectives. The detectives said there is no evidence whatsoever. Children, though. I've this known is this man because I got in here. I'm speaking to you, little girl. Years I've known you for multiple years, and Amanda as well. So my, I don't so want to bash all his parents. I'm not that me. type of person. What I want to know is if this is a monster or if this is a man. How did you find out that Jeremy was accused of molesting? I was at a red daughter. light, and his there's a memorial rock um, that you can either go right or left, and there's this brick, huge, and it says Jeremy is a child molester. Did I post that? Jeremy came here today and took a lie detector test. And we asked him, on the day in question, did you get into the bed with Daniel's daughter? He answered no. On the day in question, did you rub your private part against Daniel's daughter? <coughs> he answered no. On the day in question, did you attempt to touch Daniel's daughter's private area? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Jeremy did not tell the truth. Get off me, man. He had a toasty. Bro, he just touched my daughter. All this is all lies, dude. The show or you? Your show. Why is my show? Well, because lies. as soon as I came here yesterday, Dan asked me if I wanted to take a rest or if I wanted to take my test right then and there. Okay. I hadn't really slept at all. All this. You know that doesn't affect a lot yeah, of types of us. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay. So Dan, who has all the certificate training, he's not to be believed, but you are a felon? Listen. My felonies have nothing to do with why I'm but on I'm this show. But I'm saying, you're accusing You can sit here and say whatever you want to. Right? You can sit here and say whatever Just you want like to. You can you. sit here and run on your You blamed the little girl yeah. for, for her actions when it was you who did it to her. Right. Yeah. You bring me, con me into bringing you to national television for me to look like a <laughs> fool? I have kids. Why couldn't you tell me this from get-go? Don't I deserve that I've known you longer than all of them? Yes. I grew up with you. Why do I deserve this? Yes. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Okay, and listen, time. you made a bad mistake. And, I did. And, but, but you know what? Your kids, uh, fortunately, and I, I would go home and really have a, a deep talk with them and say, and hey, this guy taught you. But you got to cut this guy out of your life. No matter what your feelings are, you, you can't, and I was saying earlier, you can't take chances with your kids. You can't put them in a position. Anybody that's accused like it that, just this... It goes to show no matter how long you've known somebody. And you can't know. You don't know who's a child molester. That's the thing. Good luck to you. You told me on stage your number one job is to protect, protect your daughter. child. And if you, do, if you go home and try to beat him up, try to do something, then you might be not around to take care of your daughter. I understand. And then somebody else can do this to your daughter. So, you gotta go home and be smart. Let the police know, hey, now you really need to bring them in. Take a lie detector test. You really need to investigate this. You really need to get this guy, and I hope he's out there watching the monitors and crying and bitching. <laughs> you need to put this guy in jail. Oh, no, he's going to prison. All right. Good he's luck, Tim. If there's anything we can do to help. Thank you. Good Very luck, much. Tim.